Welcome to the exciting world of Vega, the 1978 TV series that takes you into the heart of Las Vegas, where private detective Dan Tana drives down the strip in his red Thunderbird solving crimes and helping those in need. This show is full of twists and turns with moments that will make you laugh, keep you on the edge of your seat, and maybe even bring a tear to your eye. I remember the first time I watched Vega, the bright lights of the city, and the cool charisma of Dan Tana really drew me in. There's a scene where Tana outsmarts a clever criminal that really sticks with you, showing that brains often beat brawn. Now, I'd love to hear from you. What's your most memorable experience with Vega? Is there a scene that you still think about, or an episode that holds a special place in your heart? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. We're excited to hear what you have to say. Fans of private investigator series would appreciate Vegas, a show that stands out for its engaging storylines involving extortion, recovery, and wrongful accusations of murder. The series was well received for its writing, direction, and performances. The character of Dan Tanner, portrayed by Robert Urich, was particularly notable for his smart and tough demeanor, essential traits for a private investigator. Urich's portrayal brought a human touch to the character, making Tanner relatable and endearing to the audience. His charisma was highlighted by his classic car, which was a signature element of the show, symbolizing the glitz and glamour of Las Vegas during its earlier days as a burgeoning city with a significant reputation. Tanner's interactions with showgirls and his friend Danny added to the allure of the Las Vegas setting, capturing the essence of the city's unique character. The show earned a favorable rating for its distinctive approach to the private investigator genre. For his role as a private detective, Robert Urich underwent a significant physical transformation, gaining 40 pounds to develop a muscular build, tipping the scales at 220 pounds. Despite the age difference between Urich and his on-screen love interest, with him being the senior, his character was portrayed as younger than the women he dated. Years after the show's conclusion, Bart Braverman stands as the sole regular cast member still with us, alongside Judy Landers, known for her recurring appearances. Casting for the lead role in a popular show can often be a close call, and this was the case with Robert Urich, who was nearly passed over for appearing too youthful despite his impressive height and build. The show's portrayal of Las Vegas was a snapshot of a city that has since transformed, with many of the hotels featured in the opening sequence, such as the Frontier and the Stardust no longer part of the city's skyline. The character Dantana, portrayed by Urich, was fictionally housed at the Desert Inn, one of the classic hotels that made up the city's famous strip. Excuse me, your highness. No one's immune. You're not immune. I'm not immune. No one. I don't care. In the heart of Las Vegas, Dan Tana's residence is not the apartment many believe it to be, but a converted garage owned by the Desert Inn, situated a short distance north of Circus Circus. For his role, Robert Urich underwent a significant physical transformation, gaining 40 pounds to tip the scales at a muscular 220 pounds. Meanwhile, Greg Morris, who portrayed Lieutenant Dave Nelson, developed such a fondness for Nevada during filming that he and his wife made the decision to make Las Vegas their home. I think Jenny tried to OD. Dan, I just admitted, I was in that suite. Now there was nobody else in that room. In the heart of West Hollywood, a restaurant not only served as a culinary favorite, but also inspired the name of a memorable television character, Dan Tana. This establishment, known for its connection to Hollywood's entertainment scene, remains operational. Tragically, its longtime bartender passed away in 2020 due to COVID-19 complications. Within the show, the lead character had a unique nickname for Philip Roth, referring to him affectionately as Slick. The actor behind this role, Robert Urich, is recognized for his extensive presence on television, holding the record for the most series regular roles, totaling 13 distinct shows throughout his career. His work spanned various genres and decades, showcasing his adaptability and dedication to his craft. In a unique crossover event, the character Dan Tana from the show made an early appearance in another series, hinting at his connections within the detective community. 
This character, known for his sharp investigative skills, drove a classic 1957 Ford Thunderbird, a vehicle that became almost as recognizable as the detective himself. Additionally, a notable change occurred from the pilot to the series concerning the supporting character Lieutenant Nelson, who underwent a name change from George to either David or Dave, reflecting a continuity adjustment as the show transitioned from its introductory episode to the regular series. I didn't expect such a direct answer. I didn't expect such a direct question. In a unique twist of casting, Wayne Newton took on the role of Justin Marsh, a racing car enthusiast and friend of the lead detective. Viewers noted Marsh's striking similarity to Newton, a nod to the entertainer's dual appearance in the series, once as Marsh and later as himself. The character of the lead detective was inspired by Eddie LaRue, a real-life detective from Las Vegas, whose career spanned several decades until his death. The age dynamics between the characters contrasted with reality, as the detective was portrayed as younger than his secretary, despite the actor's actual age difference being the opposite. You don't own all my toy store, do you? No, but I'm sure you can find one. And it better be a disc In the landscape of television, age can be a subtle detail, often adjusted for narrative purposes. This was the case with Robert Urich, who, despite being nine years senior to Catherine Hicklin, portrayed the younger sibling to her character, Julie. The show also served as a reunion platform for Pernell Roberts and Lorne Green, former co-stars from the Western series Bonanza, who shared the screen once again in two episodes. Urich, at 31, brought a youthful appearance to his role, prompting writers to lower his character's age to 25, aligning with his Vietnam veteran backstory while maintaining the character's youthful vigor. In the heat of Las Vegas, where the stakes are high, Dan Tano was known for his trusty sidearm, a Dan Wesson Model 15 to the 57 revolver, notable for its heavy vented barrel and six-shot capacity. It was a reliable tool in his line of work, where challenges were part of the daily routine. His philosophy was simple yet profound, often stating that the difficulty of his tasks was what set him apart, famously quipping, if it was easy, anyone could do it. This sentiment echoed through his actions as he navigated the complexities of his job with a unique blend of determination and skill. The guy, Wendy for short. Mickey, do you know him? Yeah, he's from back east. He used to be one of my big... In the heat of Las Vegas, where the show was set, the lead actor's Robert Urich performance as a private detective was overshadowed by personal tragedy. During the show's run, Urich faced the loss of his wife, Heather Menzies, to cancer. This event cast a shadow over the series as Urich balanced his professional commitments with his personal grief. The show continued, but the off-screen sorrow was a stark contrast to the glitz and glamour of the on-screen world of Las Vegas. I have here until last night. How'd you guys meet? Well, one night you waited for me to come off stage. 18 years old. 